a victory tonight. What did you make of that one from the touchline? Um, yeah, it was a good game. Uh, I think Southampton were, were good first first 20, 25 minutes. I thought they really got after us, pressed us really well, caused us some problems. So, absolute you know credit to them. They had a young team out, and I thought they played some nice stuff in the first half. Um, we came into the game, and I thought second half we were really good. We changed the tempo a little bit, started to play forwards with a bit more purpose, and when we did that, we created a lot more chances. They did go ahead. Was that a frustration from where you were watching? Yeah, because it's a set play um, and it was a bit sloppy. They, we, they picked up a second ball when I felt we should have landed on it um, and that, that, that caused the free kick. So a little bit of sloppy play and, and the, the set piece was a bit disappointing. But I thought we responded well to that. Um, and, and of course, we took our chances with some defenders getting on the score sheet. It was all three of the centre-halves, wasn't it? Tactical masterclass. <laughs> I don't know about that, but um, yeah, listen, we, we also know that when we play uh, under 21s teams, that things like set plays can be a vulnerability for them. You know, obviously they're, they're younger and, and we're probably more physical than them, so it was a good avenue. We started putting more balls into the box and we caused a lot of problems with that. But I thought second half we played some really good stuff. We played much more on the front foot and I was happy with that. The last 15 or so, the game lost its rhythm a little bit but down to 10 men and with a two goal lead is that something you're you're more than happy to happen I know it sounds mad but I was I was really happy um, we had the red card and and um, and after that we had to show a bit of resilience and I think that's really important like test of character and we've got to dig in and we had to show a bit more of a physical side to our, to our game and I think that's really important that we can show that so no, I was uh, I was more than happy with with how we finished the game with 10 men and what did you make of the red card? Obviously, that was one of the second half's major incidents. Yeah, he, he broke the counter attack, and it was a late challenge. And obviously, then you give the ref a, an opportunity to do that. Um, in my opinion, it wasn't really a dirty game. There wasn't really any bad challenges during the game, and um, so uh, it is what it is. It, you, it, with that sort of a tackle, you can it can happen. But um, a bit disappointing, really. I think we could have just kept the game flowing. Bit of disappointment on a personal level there for Armani. Is that the sort of thing that that you learn when you step up to this level? Yeah, but do you know what? Armani played a game in which he was on the edge. He was physical. He was pressing. He was chasing. That came from a reaction to a ball loss. We should have actually had a free kick on Ben Stevenson just before that foul. Um, and I think Armani re reacts fast um, and he goes to try and win the ball, misses, and that's a consequence of it. But I can't knock his application. I think his application was excellent. He. he um, He's, he plays full-hearted and, and that can happen. So, listen, it, it, for me, I'm, I'm not disappointed with Armani. He'll be a bit disappointed because he misses a, a game in this competition. But for me, I think he showed um, a good work rate and mentality through the game. But he wasn't the only one to, to show great heart tonight, was it? It was, it was a strong team performance. It was. I thought um, I thought Tomo in goal made a couple of good saves just before the break and then set us off in the in the second half really well. Felt like uh, you should see when we got down to, to 10 men, it's great to have Josh March because he runs for two players. So um, And he was everywhere. So, no, I think there was a lot of good performances. Harvey Bunker came in, um, young lad, and really gave an accomplished performance, moving around positions as well from centre mid to centre back. So, yeah, some good positives in there.